Hey here, Gramsci here. Um, we've got um, some Lego models on the book by John Wyndham to Chris Phillips. Um, from this intro, people might be wondering. Um, this is a class personal interest or more classic study. Um, and even if you don't really understand it and aren't really part of it, um, you're welcome to watch it. <coughs> Um, so, here I built some Lego models. First, um, Sophie's house with only David, actually, but, and the horse. And here would be the fringes, crazy little place. Um, what we might learn from this exercise is how everyone's vision of the same thing might actually vary. Um, it's just like the characters in the book who are dreaming of the future. The vision would always be personal. Um, in the meantime, let's get to the models. You can see them there. Um, here we have David's, um, well, not really David's, but Sophie's house. It comes with a horse, small little set here, golden encrusted ch chest here, nothing inside it. And here it's being blocked by a table, but there's a fireplace. Two candles, two pipes sticking out of the fireplace. Um, then we then we come in with the gun and the hand um what's it called cupboard maybe or coat hanger. And here would be a potion or something like that. David's holding two levers, supposed to be utensils, forks and knives. Here's a big one. Um, but that's David's house, not much to it, and here we have the fringes, a bit more interesting. There was a wide variety of the characters, now I thought, from the, the we haven't really seen the fringes too much, so I was, out uh, and f we've only really heard from them from, um, Joseph Strong, David's father, and, well, David's born Storm is a bit of an idiot. He tends to, well, be sort of judgmental. So we cannot, all, he'd probably judge this horse for being big. He was not in the book. Um, so from his point of view, some normal people, like this pirate here holding a giant satellite, right, with a small peg leg, is totally different. He's like an alien to him. So that's why I put in a bunch of them. And so I guess we should get to the part where I talk about the characters. It start there are, on the front lines there would be some mini dudes. You might not be able to see them from the camera view, but there are mini goblins, Lego characters from the new sets coming around town. And then we have the completely abnormal ones. Rock Monster can fit small Lego pieces in his mouth and four-armed frenzy, except I gave him gray arms, different ones. So, those are the two main guys. There. Then we have some sort of normal. This guy's a tube, randomly sticking out. One looks like it's on fire. This guy is, has a hook, and holding a hook, quite abnormal. And a peg leg, too. He looks like a pirate. Um, then we have our Eskimo guy. He, people usually wear the mask to cover any facial issues. Probably this guy's facial issue looks like he's blind. And the sunglasses to cover his eyes. Can't take those off, though. And that leaves the pirate again. Sound like that. So that's basically it for that. Um, try to try the activity. Everyone's one will be different. Some might be five stories high, some might be underground. Um, so just try it. It doesn't matter if you're not very good at Lego. Personally, I'm not the greatest either. But I managed to build things because I have the confidence to do it, which is the main part to go with. Um, so yeah, that's it. For now, three, two, one, bye.